Today's video is sponsored by ExpressVPN, but more about them later. Hi everybody and welcome to Daily Scuba News. So clever people at Sheffield University have developed a revolutionary way to make zinc oxide, a method which requires 95% less energy than the traditional methods. Cool, right? Why is this important or why is it even interesting? Well, zinc oxide is a very effective sunscreen to protect you from harmful UV rays, but it is also reef friendly or not reef harmful like many cheaper sunscreens. Too many suntan lotions at the moment, when you jump in the water, they leach chemicals into that water that can kill coral polyps and other marine life as well, which is obviously a bad thing. So people are encouraged to use more reef friendly alternatives like zinc oxide, but they're expensive. Zinc oxide is a mineral that is used in a lot of UV protection and also a lot of high-end personal care products like moisturizers, soaps and shampoos and whatnot is all over the place. But the current method to make zinc oxide uses a lot of energy and it isn't particularly good for the environment. So whilst you're being better for the reef on one side, the emissions in the production are actually hurting the environment. The current method requires temperatures around 900 degrees Celsius, burning things in furnaces, whereas Sheffield's new method is far better for the environment and can also be used to make more sustainable paints, car tires, batteries, sensors, all sorts of things. It, it's actually really big news for the raw materials industry, so we do have to pay attention to this. The new method was developed by a team of very clever people led by Dr. Kyra Sedransk Campbell. Uh, the exact method is a little bit beyond my scientific mind, but it essentially puts solid zinc into a vat with water and ionic liquid liquid, which is a type of salt that melts at unusually low temperatures. This new method, instead of having to burn 900 degrees Celsius, according to the team's calculations, uses 97% less energy to produce the same compound and could reduce the price of zinc oxide from around $35 to about $11 per kilo. That's about a third of the price. So as long as enough people know about this, we should start to see costs of reef-friendly sunscreens go down in the next few years. If they don't start to drop in the next few years, we just know that the companies making these products are just adding that savings to their margins, unfortunately. But it is good news in my books, um, fewer emissions. So well done to the team at Sheffield University. Now, if you're worried about people spying on you or stealing your information online, or you just want to access more of the internet because it's kind of limited in places for you, then you should really read about ExpressVPN. On top of every VPN comparison site and rated 4.7 out of 5 on Trustpilot, ExpressVPN is an app that you can install on a whole range of your different devices at home, um, both Apple and Samsung, Google, whoever it is, and it essentially lets you pick and choose where it looks like your device is connected to the internet. At the moment, all of your devices, they have an IP address and your internet provider and the websites that you're visiting, they know exactly where you are on the earth. But with ExpressVPN, you can give them the slip. Built for speed and with best-in-class encryption, ExpressVPS lets you surf the net safely and quickly. And if you don't like it, they also offer a 30-day back money-back guarantee if you change your mind at any time. Check them, well, I say any time in the first 30 days, obviously. Um, check them out by clicking the link in the description below. Thank you for watching, and of course, safe diving.